Saws are the kind of tools you cannot avoid whether you work with woods or metals because except them you cannot get your ingredients in proper length. But keep in mind that using the wrong saw on the wrong arsenal may damage your work including your price plus body parts. Hence we have explained 10 mostly used saw types and their aspects over its 50 delicate variants so that you can find out which one is made for your certain projects. So without further ado, let's cut into the video. Handsaw, the most general saw in the saw category. You're vastly familiar with the saw if you ever witnessed any carpentry work. This saw is 100% muscle powered and comes in for variations in teeth alignment. Thus you can have rib cut, cross cut or Japanese cross cut depending on the damage rate you prefer in the wood fiber. Since the handsaw has a sturdy handle and a longer body, your workshop work cannot be convenient without them. The handsaw provides strokes to the exterior part, but whatever, this saw is much safer to use if you have a tighter grip. Next on the list, the hacksaw, which is a light and compact saw specially designed for cutting metals. Beside metals, it can cut through PVC and soft materials depending on blade types. The regular teeth blades have no space in between them, but every tooth angle is placed in a different direction, either forward or backward, intending for cutting soft metal and other materials. On the contrary, wavy blades are positioned with a multi-angular teeth alignment to create a wider cutting line to avoid the abrasion. More importantly, this saw can hold 10 to 12 inch size steel blades with smaller teeth in its steel frame and is comfortable to use. If you plan to use a hacksaw for cutting thinner woods, make an exception for it. Use a coping saw, which is a little bit different and suitable for cutting into woods. In particular, it has a thinner blade that will not break even if you make a curvature in your cut. The best part of a coping saw is its ability to cut through a hole or even a cutout. Speaking of build factor, the coping saw is much lighter and it can contain 6 and 3rd quarter inch blades having 10 to 32 teeth per inch. So for making crafts or cutting through holes, this saw is a good pick for precision. Coming next is the wire saw. A very different saw which is highly demanded in some specific tasks. This saw is one of the equipments of any rescue worker because it's easily portable. Unlike any traditional saw, the wire saw does not have keen teeth but it's literally a pile of twisted metal wire. Besides, it can cut rocks into parts for industrial purposes. This saw is ideal for a hiker for any survival scenario. To use it faster, you'll need thick gloves to avoid hand fatigue. Up next, here comes the crosscut saw, which is a very traditional saw with its retro look and compact design. Equipped with two handle parts for two people, this saw is used to cut water trunk and stems. The saw is thicker in form factor and has comparatively larger teeth to provide more abrasion so that it can cut through the thick grain of the tree. No matter how advanced the electric saws are nowadays, crosscut saw is still a popular tool to conduct high level jobs. If you were a professional wood cutter, this tool is of value for you. Let's go back outside for a while to observe the chainsaw, because chainsaws are driven through electric or fuel power to rotate a chain to cut wide lumber like a big tree. After powering on, a motor starts rotating a chain which is attached with a guide bar and merged with deadly teeth. The length of this bar varies from 12 to 36 inch long. In favor, you can adjust the speed of a chainsaw however you want to cut faster or slower. But you have to be careful while cutting as the saw gives powerful kickbacks, so always wear PPE, gloves and helmet before starting a chainsaw, otherwise those creepy horror movie scenes will come true. Next on the list, the circular saw which is designed to cut following a straight line and basically it is the motorized version of handsaw having a round build design. First, this saw is very portable for construction and carpentry jobs and it deals with wood and some other materials specifically. To use, you have to place it on a flat wooden plank or board. Powering through a trigger, the saw immediately starts a motor which rotates a round disc having sharp teeth. Hence, this saw is so fast and also dangerous. Certainly, you have to check the saw blade guard and wear necessary protection before operating a circular saw. Overall, if your job is about making wooden furniture, this saw is a must for you. Designed to cut curves and details, the jigsaw has a thin blade that can be tracked around to cut out so you get exactly the design you want without breaking the cutout edges. This saw is powered by fuel or electricity and works the same as a circular saw. 
but instead of rotating the disc, this sound makes the blade go up and down multiple times but is counted as strokes per second. The jigsaws are suitable for DIY and furniture work as you can make a cutout design out of a board. Not to mention, you can have a basic straight line cut as well as other saws. The reciprocating saw provides a back and forth motion to deliver strikes. It gives a better holding position to work above the ground. Again, this saw is electric or gas powered and very compact to carry around. You can get full usage of this saw only if you are a pro woodworker. But during use, you'll get some benefits such as cutting through a corner horizontally or vertically as needed. Finally, remember to have a tight grip so that the blade does not slip on the starting of the reciprocating saw. Last on the list, a table saw is named after its design. You probably noticed them in a wood shop or saw factory where big piles of wood planks are brought on the table to cut in pieces. Once the machine is started, you have to push the wood towards a wide blade of disc rotating at a higher speed. This saw comes with a stationary tabletop and you can adjust the speed manually. Also, this saw has some variants of its own like chop side saw, hybrid saw, compact saw, sliding saw, contractor saw and the list goes on for a while. Anyway, table saw is for professionals only. It needs special training to operate the saw safely. So that was the 10 types of saws depending on their features and working circumstances. We hope you know how the saw world and how it will finish your desired project. Thanks for watching. Like, comment and share the video if you found it helpful. And subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.